Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And I am going to create a pan of colors to fill in my dragon. And I'm going to try and tell you what they are as I go along. That is a color shifting orange pinky color from Folk Art. And this is a No, a no More Made Art Minds teal, let's call it teal, dark, mysterious teal. This is a purple flash that is become plugged. Oh, really? Okay, fine. Be that way. And that is a, also a color shift. And I'm just going to keep taking my colors, my dragon colors, and filling in. And when I get a layer, I'm going to start to make adjustments by picking up colors that I like in combinations by using the palette knife or the little piece of acetate or the homemade scoop that get metal taped around the end and then there is the pen container I think it was that had a triple that I just trimmed off on the edges and we'll see if that might be the first thing that I want to try it might not be the best choice but I want to try it so, I don't know if I can fit all these colors in here, but I'm going to give it a try. Ooh, I like the copper way more than I expected to. I also figured if I'm careful as I scoop, I could probably just dribble some of these colors that I'm trying to think of as dragon colors. And I really just want a whole lot, a whole lot more purple than I've got so far. But as you can see, I'm taking the uh, color shifting it's, an em it's called emerald green now. When I bought it, it was called minty green, and it's color shift. This, I don't know what it is, this darker purple, but I think it'll be... I mean, it already looks like dra colorful dragon skin to me. And I'm just going to put those down there now. I'm going to put some of my s small amount of remaining 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana in here. And I bought all kinds of replacements. I'm just dribbling all over. This is a quinacridone magenta with some golden iridescent pearl in it. Fine, that's not coming out. You could come out now. Please come out. Let's see if it'll come out now. No, it won't come out now. All right, I have some tweezers around here somewhere. I just had them right here. Oh, there they are. Cool. Let's move on to something else in a second. Anyway. Boy, that was a big plug for not having been left alone for very long. So I'm definitely trying to... Ooh, that was, that's a nice addition there. Hopefully you can see all that. So my canvas is 20 by 24 inches, and I really do not expect to get all this done today. There is no way I could, so I'm probably not going to try. And I think we need a few highlights, and I might put some black in there because we probably also need some low lights. I don't want to overdose this. But I'm not sure what's going to happen as I begin to scrape it out of its container. This is a Venetian blue from, uh, yeah, Modern Masters. <laughs> they get a little bit confused once in a while. So that's a good dark color. Maybe I don't need the black after all. That has an iridescent quality to it. It's like a metallic just going to put a little more in some places. And I have that turquoise, but I think a little more won't hurt me. For sure not. And I'm going to finish up with more of my purple flash from Folk Art. And I doubt whether this is even close to enough color, but I've saved the colors aside. I really don't even have that much of an idea of how I'm going to do this. This is a folk art color shifting turquoise also. I'm not trying to make a painting in a pan, I'm just trying to put colors down. And I loved that copper so much that I don't think a little bit more of that is going to hurt anything. I kind of like colors to be different from one area to the next. So if I have areas that are more, I don't know, separated one way or the other, I have little scoops from a friend of mine, and one more, one more go around with the pinky orange. And 
and I'm almost there. So that's a lot. Maybe just a little bit more of that deep teal. What are we going to try first? That is the question. Let's put each tool on its own little cottage cheese lid that way. And we'll get that thing that's stuck there out. That way we have a place to rest everything. I like my cottage cheese lids. And I need a place to put my paint down and get that glob of paint off of my tweezers in case I need to use them. Here, here it comes. I'm going to show it to you first. Let me get the, the black and the gold out. I pre-primed this canvas black. Like I said, I think I'm going to try and get some of the dog hairs off of there. <laughs> it's been leaning against the wall here for quite a while. Like a month or more. Taunting me with all the different methods that I do. And me trying to figure out which one I'm going to choose. So I'm going to start with a little the little scoop. Am I? No, I lied. I'm going to start with the medium sized scoop because that's what I know. I might have to put some orange in here too. So what I need to make sure of is that I get my areas somewhat clear. Let's just do whatever comes to mind to start with. and hope for the best. The chalk will all come off. I really didn't expect to put scales on here to tell you the truth. But I'm not minding that I am. But I really think that if I don't talk, <laughs> I'll lose your interest and it's something I need to focus on. I'm glad that the colors are so different from each other because that's making pretty cool scales. I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my mixtures. Whoops, that was a big blob. I'm a lot nervous about them spreading out too much. But I think if I just am willing to start because I've been so nervous about doing this, I can't tell you how long I've been thinking about this and not doing it. I'm liking that. And I usually think that there's an area of different shaped scales across the chest area of most dragons, but after seeing the wonderful freeform critters that Gail Burston is doing, I think I should just get on with this any way it wants to come about. I'm not going to mind that black negative space behind. I think it's actually going to serve me well. So far so good. What shall we talk about? I really need a smaller scoop. So maybe I'm just going to fill in the larger places, the large areas. When I get to the small stuff, I'll leave it. Or I won't, <laughs> you know. Anything's possible at this point. Not minding how that looks at all. If I tip up my little scoop, I'll get a residual pouring out. And if I need to pull something into a hole, I can do that too. Who knows? He could be a fighting dragon and he's lost a few scales here or there. So I might have as much paint as I need and then some. I'm going to try and go every other one down here. And maybe I'll stay away from that front part because I might still want to do something different there. Now I was moving up that way and that seemed to work okay. Let's see how it's going to work moving down.
I want to do that face so bad, I can't even tell you. As long as the patterns keep filling in nicely, I might get away with this. I'm liking it. I don't know if I can do it fast enough to keep up with the timer, and I certainly don't think I can do it in 20 minutes. So if you're expecting that, really give up now, because it's not happening. But it's not going to keep me from going on and chatting with you as I do that. I really want a much tinier card for down on the legs and stuff, so maybe I'll just fill in the majority up here right now. As soon as I see the paint touches the canvas, that's my cue to pull it up right off of there too. I think I can go back in with maybe the flat area of my uh, one of my small spatulas. Oops, that was a big one. I don't think I think it can be fairly organic. I'm really hoping that that's correct. As in imperfect imperfection is acceptable. I can I can be a little a word once in a while. Um, okay, so that's cool. Let's keep going. It's working so far. I'm just gonna fill in underneath my dragon wing. I'm gonna try and use the same tool for the top of the leg. At some point in time, I know I should show you. Exquisite beastie he is, or she is. And this came from a necklace, this drawing. So, it was a piece of white jade. If you're wondering where I got my design. And I just sort of blew it up. Tried to use it by imitating it in shock. Not that I couldn't do my own, but I liked the round shape of it. The pendant was originally round. I should show you guys that for now. That's not a bad start. I'm actually pretty happy with that. Um, I definitely want some smaller tools. And I love the fact that I can get a couple scales at a time. I might have to fix a couple of things later, but so far so good. I wonder if I can just... put in little bits. That kind of looks cool. I like it. It's going to be interesting when I finally get to the scales down the back. I like it. It's working out better than I anticipated by far. I wish I hadn't waited so long. So that's neat. And I'm wondering if I can do the same thing. Right here. I know at some point in time my timer is going to go off and make me jump. I'm just dipping that little scoop that I made out of garbage. You could do it out of acetate too. Turning it this way and that. Destroying that particular scale. I needed a much smaller card. I want to try and grab... I'm going to put that down. Just going to grab a piece of acetate and use it from the side. And I want to try. I 
and see if I can make some scales go down the leg. Because I can. Ha! Ah! That's the name of my first book. It's under the link tree, which is the first blue link under the video. And it's on my Amazon link, actually. So that little piece of acetate works pretty well. Kind of want some gold in there, though. Maybe some green gold will do it. I don't want to move my my card around. The choices have to be kind of kept to one area because otherwise I'll muddy my paint. And I still have some good solid areas. So I wonder if I can just do toes. I bet I can do claws. I like the paint colors because they, they look kind of iridescent. I feel bad doing this upside down. Well, that's that tells me I've got two minutes. And I'm going to just talk to you keep working for another two minutes and remind you I do some my artwork. I got great slideshows recently so if you guys are interested in seeing a variety show of different kinds of fluid art if you haven't seen much of my stuff just go to my created playlists under all playlists and look for slideshows. You'll find some neat stuff. I'm just gonna dip the side of my card in I'm going to grab a little more. It's got a club foot. <laughs> so that's cool. I got some of it done and I don't want to stop so I might continue on with part two. Kind of want to put a little more orange in there. Maybe just pick up a little more orange. Go right over my chalk line. I could probably go back in tomorrow and fill in some, put some gold dots in there or something. That might be nice after it's dry. So I'm going to show you guys right now how far we've come. And then I'm going to use my little, my little piece of acetate. I'm going to see what you can see. And remind you that I have over 1,500 videos. When you're done with this one, you can look for that. Please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. Hey, that's pretty cool through the camera lens. I like it through the monitor. So thank you for liking, sharing, watching longer, um, and, uh, and watching when notifications come out. I love you guys. Check under the link tree for Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Know that my Pinterest is where I put fresh artworks for the first couple days after they're done. And... Uh, I love you guys. There's pretty much 90,000 of you, or as close as it needs to be, and still not worry that it's going to get there. So, um, shop my Amazon link at Know How to Cost You, and it helps me out. Look for my two books, Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities, on the Amazon link. If you want to join the monthly drawing, you can find the exhibition video on the end screen of any video in the last 20 seconds, and it will show you what the prizes are for those of you who use PayPal or Patreon, and I will send you a receipt for that. Thank you for the wonderful comments. You guys keep my morale boosted so well. I really appreciate you very much. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do some design work upside down on the dragon's face, and um, I'll be back in a minute. So I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Back in a minute. See you anon.